Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to detect multicollinearity in independent variables in R. Multicollinearity is a statistical phenomena that occurs when two or more independent variables in a regression model are highly correlated. In the context of time series analysis, multicollinearity can be present when there are strong linear relationships among the independent variables used to model the time series data. This is an example of the perfect multicollinearity. x1 is equal to 2x2. Imperfect multicollinearity. x1 is equal to 2x2 square. Let's take one more example. y is equal to a plus b1x1 plus b2x2 plus b3x3. Here, multicollinearity means the existence of a perfect or exact linear, linear relationship among some or all explanatory variables of a regression model. For example, x1 is equal to 3x2. In this situation, it is very difficult to separate out the effect of x1 and x2 on y. In other words, we cannot assign the significant contribution of each variable. Consequences of multicollinearity. Although blue, blue means best linear, unbiased estimator. The OLS estimators have large variances and covariances, making precise estimation difficult in the presence of multicollinearity. Because of consequence one, the confidence interval tend to be much wider, leading to the acceptance of the zero null hypothesis that is true population coefficient is zero more readily. Multicollinearity problem makes a significant uh, variable insignificant by increasing its standard error. If the standard error goes up, the T value goes down and hence comes up with the high P value. Although the T ratio of one or more coefficient is statistically significant, R square, the overall measures of goodness of fit can be very high. The OLS estimators and the standard errors can be very sensitive to small changes in the data. F value is significant, but none of the T ratios are significant. So let's proceed further that how we can run or how we can detect multicollinearity in R. So for this, we'll go in R. The first thing which we have to do is import the data set. The name of the data set is regression analysis. Press open. Import. Y is our dependent variable. X1, X2, X3 are independent variable. To run any analysis in R, it's necessary that you create the scripts. So first of all, let me clear this. You can clear the console window by pressing Control L. And you can clear this thing by pressing this broomstick, press yes. Now go in the script, attach regression analysis, run. Regression analysis not found, okay. Again, go in import data set from Excel, browse. Open, import. Now let's run it. Attach regression analysis, run. Create the model one. Model one is equal to linear model. Let me zoom it. Linear model, round brackets. Y is a dependent variable. This is a sign of tilde, which is on your keyboard on left hand side, top below the escape button. So we are specifying Y is a dependent variable, and the independent variables are X1, X2, and X3. Run. Take the summary of model 1. So x1 is significant as its p-value is less than 0 0.05. x2 and x3 are insignificant as its p-value is more than 0 0.05. I want to check is there any presence of multicollinearity or not. So for this we require a package which is far away. The name of the package is far away. Tools, install packages. We will have to load this package. Make sure your internet connection is on. Far away. Press install. And after that, activate its library. Library, far away, run. Now there is the command line, far away, colon, colon. We have, that is variance inflation factor, model one, run. So just see this value. Uh, it's nearer to one and two. Our interpretation is no independent variable as we have more than five. So multicollinearity does not exist between the variables. In any case, if this value was more than 5, then you will have to drop the variable which is highly correlated. 
Now we will also check the correlation of uh, all the independent variables by the command line core regression analysis run. And we got the regression analysis, we, uh, we got the correlation of independent variables. What is our interpretation? Let's see. So correlation between any two variable is not more than 0.8. So we can say that, so we can say that high correlation does not exist between two independent variable, which is quite good. And therefore the multiple linearity is not present. So this is how you can detect the presence of multicollinearity in independent variables in R. For more videos on econometrics using R, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also join me on different social media, link given in the description box.